tell you're the type of girl that's got good things to say. Got a big bright heart that could match your eyes like the stars up in outer space. And that's why I'm gonna take a chance. I see that, please take my head out on the floor. There's something I want more than to offer you this dance. With every smile, you got me wishing. I'll never be sorry, I'm my reach. With every move, you've got me dreaming. Oh, you and I could be. If there was ever a love that felt so perfect. It's like that. On the road again! <laughs> I got another project! Uh-huh. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, a little bit different than the norm. Uh, I guess you guys will see it when I get it, but uh, paid $2,308. That's after fees and everything. And this is gonna be one heavy biatch. I looked it over. This was actually in my last video. It's in really, really good condition. And uh, it's going to be... You know what? I'm, I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy flip. Because lately, all the ones I thought were going to be easy flips were not easy flips. So we're just going to roll with the punches on this. And if it goes smooth, it goes smooth. If it doesn't, then I'm going to put insurance on it and drive it off a cliff. I've been on a lot of cars actually, lost on a lot of cars. Because of the membership fees, it actually dropped the bidder numbers way, way down. I mean, we were seeing numbers from three to 6,000 people in an auction. And uh, now that there is membership fees, it must have uh, did away with all of the BS people that are just watching. There was uh, 400 in to start and 800 in when I won the bid on this. So, like, the auctions go on, more people enter, they come in late and stuff like that. So, uh, everything was still going. I thought everything was going a little pricey, but I knew the condition of this thing, so I didn't mind paying a little bit more for this one. I did uh, bid a little high on a couple other ones too, but still, it just didn't work out for me. This was actually an approval bid, so I was worried I wasn't gonna get anything. And with uh, STEMI checks going out here soon, I'm like, I need to get something this week because everybody's gonna have at least 1,400 in their pocket and they're gonna wanna be bidding. So uh, I, I bid on this, it was an approval bid. I had to wait for approval, so I bid on another car after that and lost on it. And I have one more coming up and uh, it took about five, uh, uh, about 10 minutes. I'll say it took about 10 minutes and they actually approved my bid for what I wanted for, which does not happen very often. So I think that the winning bid was $17.50 after fees $23.08. So when we get there, uh, we'll get some drone shots and some glamour shots and some money shots and <laughs> maybe we'll do some shots, huh? friends and maybe never even come back no it's why i put on my dancing shoes that would be a dream with a girl like you out on the floor there's nothing i want more so wanna dance with every smile you got me wishing i'll never be sorry i'm my
I got a 2004 Chevy Avalanche. A little bit higher mileage, it has 186,000 miles on it, but the, the motor sounds great. The thing drives great. Brand new tires on the thing. Uh, really good condition. You can tell somebody took care of this. The interior is spotless. Like, I don't even knew, I didn't even know this interior was an option. It's like a brown and uh, diamond plate pattern. There is a small tear in the seat, but for that many miles, like, this is uh, really, really good shape somebody really took care of this thing it's even got the chevy floor mats in here uh really really digging this interior um downside is the air conditioning is not working but i don't see anything that was damaged so we might have to do a leak detection on that i actually have a kit that i've never used yet to find leaks we'll see if uh, if we charge it and we'll put some dye in it at the same time and uh, if it charges up then we'll have to uh, diagnose and see what's going on there figure out if there's a leak or something all of the paperwork's in here i'm not going to show you this portion of it because somebody's name and address is on there um but like that's the original pamphlet and books for this thing and this is why i say go look the vehicles over first like i knew what i was getting into with this one and i didn't have a problem bidding a little bit more on this thing because it is in really good and actually it even smells good in here of course okay i see why vanilla cupcake yankee candle scent that might be going to my car but this thing is going to be a haul for me i can tell you that right now peeling the sticker off right now yeah um this is i'm gonna take it easy on the way home i'm not gonna beat on my truck and smash the gas we're just gonna take it easy i got it all day to get this thing home and that's what we're gonna do the window Passenger window is cracked. I'm going to shut the window because this thing is, uh, I don't want to get it dirty inside. Yeah, this thing's cleaner than my truck. I can't do it though. I can't, I can't swap this for my truck. All right, so we're just, I'm at my parents' house. I'm gonna run this to my house, which is not very far away. Um, I did notice our digital display for our gear selector is out. And I don't know if that's a bulb or what. I'll put my seatbelt on. Okay, I'll do it. It's the only downside I see. There's a hole in the fog light button, but somebody, somebody liked this thing for a good, like really, oh, there's a matchbook. What else is in here? There's some money. Oh, I'll return. There's a quarter. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. ha! Emergency brake works. I, I remember how many clicks it takes to get into drive from my truck. So I did put this in two wheel drive. Four wheel drive clunks when you make sharp turns. Runs and drives good. All the gauges work. That's that's a good one for Chevy. kind of a slug but that's you know five three in this big tank it's it is what it is hey we're home good news on those gauges i'm pretty certain that there's a light bulb out in the back of it there's my seatbelt warning again uh i can i can actually if i look at it really close now let me see if i turn my lights on okay don't make a difference i can see it in there so it's not like fully digital and it's probably just backlit so that's probably an easy fix. This thing is a tank. And you know what's gonna be real fun about this? The video, there's a video coming out before this of me doing this quarter panel. So now I have to hide this 
on why I'm making this video. This is YouTube YouTuber problems. But yeah, this thing's got like brand new tires, really nice wheels, minimal rust. I mean, it has some rust, but it has it's an 04 and it has 186,000 miles on it. So some rust is acceptable in my opinion. Um, it needs a front bumper. It needs a ooh. <laughs> a fender well all of it, you might be able to fix that fender i don't know we might be able to fix that it's it's got one major okay i was gonna say it has one major dent right here but it's dented down there too it would probably be better just to get a fender we have i already sourced a hood a friend of mine was parting one of these out and he has a grill and hood left i really only need this chrome piece because the main part of the grill is all intact so i think the headlights might even be okay i think it just broke the uh uh well it might have broke off the, the pins that hold it too right there's the pins it might be okay <laughs> i don't know we'll have to look more into that but in all honesty, I don't think I'm going to have that much into this thing to get it uh, fixed up and on the road the way I want it. And um, you know, I, I might just go ahead and put a whole new set of headlights in because headlights sell cars. I mean, if you have a good set of lights on there that look good, uh, that's a good selling point. I mean, a lot of people see that and they're like, oh, it's it's nice. Uh, I really don't think anything inside of here got damaged. Uh, possibly something with air conditioning, but... Let me try to get this hood open. I haven't been able to get it open yet. I couldn't get it open at the yard, but I mean, I can see the rod in there to release it. So let me try. Okay, so it obviously pushed some of this support back. Uh, as you can see right here, it the whole support's pushed back. So we're going to have to look into that. Um, it's got the air box cocked sideways. Did not break anything, but I'm thinking this is there, there's something. It probably pinched the line for the air conditioning or something. But look how clean. I I didn't get to see how good a condition this thing was in at the yard because I couldn't get the hood open. So look at how clean this thing is. No oil spots. This is awesome. It's a cast iron block, aluminum heads. I can see. I'd almost have to say it's a newer water pump. Kind of looks like it. Right here looks like our leak for our air conditioning. Probably that fitting right there is what it looks like. Did you see how grimy it is the whole way down? Although now I'm looking at these lines down here and they're a little grimy too. But I don't see any broken lines. There, nothing's like really dripping real bad. This side is in really dry good shape too so yeah i <laughs> yeah i got a good deal on this thing i'm i'm fairly certain we can do a good job on this thing i mean when you start with a good base it's it's bound to turn out good but like i said i don't know if it's going to happen before <laughs> this video or not but i i want to get the z to paint so i'm going to be working on that until we get it to paint and then we'll jump over to this but this thing's awesome i mean that i you can't beat that for for 2308 bucks i mean this is a very nice pickup in fact if i didn't have a truck i would be half tempted to keep this thing i guess i guess you can't really technically call this a truck this is basically uh, it's more of an suv it's like a suburban with outside storage basically the the difference here is uh the bed and uh on a truck is separate from the cab these are all one cab like the bed is part of the body so these are like a unibody kind of but they're on a frame so it's a cab on frame but these the cool thing with these is it looks like you have a small bed but that back window comes out and the back drops down and then you have a full eight foot. You can put eight foot two by fours in this thing from front to back. My brother has a newer style one of these. And the, honestly, this thing's probably in just as good a shape of his, if not better. So we're not really going to dive into this right now. But if you guys are excited for this build like I am, 
then smash that like button and consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if you want me to take your mom out to dinner. And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrecked! time man because he knows that we're going on vacation don't you what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> is that right here's her bed she never either sleeps there or there mm -hmm. but she decided that her new spot there she is hey Out pops the what are you doing under this chair hey What did you call my baby? <laughs>